All right, so I'm going to turn it back over to Mike here. All right, so now we're going to talk about a basic single sign-on approach. We can have everybody come back up front. So let's try to keep the, the same order that we had before. Come on now. you go over to a, a portal and actually log in to the portal with your username and password. Now when you log in with your username and password, the portal is going to say, well, that's fantastic. I have a username and password. Actually, I need to go authorize or authenticate that person. <laughs> the LDAP server is going to say, all right, based upon the username and password that you gave me, everything looks great. The LDAP server is going to pass it back to the portal. All right, now at this point, the user may click on a, a link within the portal that says, go over to, to the IDD. So the, the end user is going to click on the link in the portal. The portal is actually going to pass the request over to the presentation server but what the portal is going to tell the presentation server is that, hey, I've already authorized this person, or I'm sorry, authenticated this person. You figure out the authorization piece. So the presentation server is going to say, well, I don't do authorization. My BI server does. I'm going to pass it over to the BI server. The BI server now is going to say, all right, I just need to go do authorization. So the BI server is going to pass it over to our database table in order to get all of our, our group memberships that we have. Notice we, uh, yeah, notice we skipped the LDAP server there. Correct, yes, absolutely. Since our, our portal had previously talked to our LDAP server, we no longer need to do so. However, now our database table is going to pass information back to the BI server about what group, web groups that I'm a member of. The BI server is going to pass the information back to the presentation server. <laughs> the presentation server is going to say, all right, based upon the, the information that came from the database table, what can I see? What can I do from, it, from an OBI perspective? Pass that experience back over to the portal, and then back over to the end user. And so I'm sorry, I should have skipped the, the portal here. So now you're, the end user is just talking to the presentation server. So the portal is out of the, the handshake. And obviously, the LDAP server was talked to at the very beginning when you first logged in. 